Oak Hill students are not only learning how to focus on the big picture, they're learning how to paint it. Everybody's got their own style, right? And I'm showing you one way to paint today that will help you just improve your color mixing skills. I'm asking you to try to make nice, pure, clean colors. Mix your... John Fossa is a district art teacher for the New Hall School District who teaches students the various aspects of art, from conception to giving tips on putting the finishing touches on a painting. If you trace your shapes with, say, white, black works better, you know, works well too, but white is a little bit happier and shinier looking. Some white lines can actually help to sharpen up your shapes. So I would trace them with a little bit of white pastel. I was encouraging the students to think about their drawing and painting as, you know, the shapes that fit together to make their composition, which is sort of the opposite of the way a lot of students approach it. They, they want to draw that one tree, you know, and focus just on that one little shape and I'm encouraging them to think about the big picture, you know, the whole composition. So it's kind of a leap, really, for kids to be able to focus on the entire page, not just well, the object they're trying to draw. And once we got the shapes all worked out, we focused on color mixing, which again is a real challenge for students this age. You know, to be able to make your own colors rather than using colors right from the bottle, and you know, just work on that technical skill of getting colors to come out the way you want. Um, painting smoothly, controlling your palette, and those kinds of things. And then as a kind of a final touch, once they got the paintings the way they wanted, we went to each space and um, added some visual textures, you know, some patterns and designs to just kind of bring the painting to life. I like when I paint to see what kind of mixtures I could come up with. I like how when he teaches us to mix them, Sense? Yeah. I have a sun, the sky, the birds, the water, um, grass, and some like grass sprouting out. Thing, can you feel that? It means you don't have enough paint on your brush, so you can load it up a little more, and then uh, you'll, it'll be easier. For you. Do you remember that we mixed most of our paints actually on the paper that day? We mixed them on the painting. Oh, whoops, yikes. Oh, it's turning, it's turning kind of brown, you know? And then you think, yeah, I better fix that. I'm gonna put in some yellow, and now it's turning gray. For SCB TV, I'm Austin Dave.